Well, I guess if you judge it on the Adam Sandler scale, it wasn't all that bad. Blended is the latest comedy from Adam Sandler and the gang at Happy Madison Films. This time Sandler is rejoined by Drew Barrymore in a story about what it means when two people who hate each other and are awful parents end up being forced to spend time together as their families wind up on the same vacation. So has Adam Sandler found a way to make a movie worth watching after so many recent bombs? Well, let me just say this. About three quarters into this movie, a storm came through and the power went out in the theater. And I swear the sound I heard from the audience was not disappointment, but a sigh of relief. So I walked out to see if it had affected the other screens. Nope, Godzilla was still roaring, Seth Rogen was still belly laughing across the way, so I'm left with no other choice but to believe God himself was putting an end to these poor people's suffering. Not mine, of course, because I had to stick around to see the end and review it, but still, it was one of the surest signs of God's mercy I've seen in a while. Okay, okay, it's easy to crack jokes about Sandler movies, and while that story is completely true, there is something to be said for consistency, even if it is something that I think is consistently bad. I mean, Sandler fans must love this stuff, right? For me, well, I did really enjoy the African setting, and really, at this point, shouldn't they just start naming Sandler movies by location, like the Ernest movies or the Medea movies? Something like, Adam Sandler goes to Africa, or Adam Sandler takes a cruise. Just kind of feels right to me. Also, I guess I enjoyed seeing Barrymore with Sandler again. I really did like them together in 50 First Dates, and Barrymore seems to be trying to find the heart here, and at times actually starts to uncover it. But like some sort of frustrated emotional archaeologist, anytime she starts to find it, Sandler is immediately there to bury it with his relentlessly juvenile sense of humor. Because really, no heartfelt scene should end without being undercut by at least one bodily function or sex joke. But it's not just Sandler's patented combination of slapstick and junior high sensibility that keeps this movie from being engaging. It's everything else, too. The acting is dreadful, the story is completely predictable, and the message seems to be some sort of nonsense about not being able to parent kids of the opposite gender. It's like Sandler has decided he's putting all the chips on people showing up for the old school shenanigans and phoning the rest of it in. The problem is, he continues to make MySpace movies in a Facebook world, completely blind to the fact that movies have continued to grow up even if he hasn't. But the worst thing is, it's just not funny. Joke after joke falls completely flat as you either see them coming a mile away or they're just downright mean. At the end of the day, Blended is a bit better than most recent Sandler movies, but honestly, that's not saying much. Even as hard as Drew Barrymore works, she can only stretch it to a D+. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. You can stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. But first, I want to throw some stuff up over here you can click on. If you'd like to subscribe, which I'd very much appreciate, you can do that by clicking the big gray subscribe button. Want to see more? Well, I've got reviews of the latest X-Men, Days of Future Past, or the war flick, The Railway Man. You can also click the logo right up here to go to yourmoviefriend.com, where you can search by title for reviews. And finally, this review's best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. What is the best Drew Barrymore movie ever? Mine is a little known flick that was actually written by the man who brought us Breaking Bad. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments and the first person to guess mine does get a point. Thanks and please subscribe.